Bench of Truth. Hello, I'm Amy Lynn Berger, and this is Park Bench of Truth. Park Bench of Truth is a filmed improv exercise featuring improvisers, but not about improv. So today I have with me Lydia Hensler. Hello. You may know Lydia from her improv team, Grandma's Ashes, who perform mm -hmm. every Saturday night at 10.30 at UCB Chelsea. You can also catch her performing at ASCAT or the Female Gaze, also at UCB Chelsea. Or you can catch her on YouTube with her project, 30 Characters in 30 Days. But today, none of that matters. Nothing. What matters <laughs> is... Bright. Right. Our suggestion is bright. The first thing that comes to mind is um, those light brights that we used to have. Oh, like, yes, yes, up. yes. Do you remember those? You could like put them in different yeah, patterns. Light, light. I yeah. don't think I was good at that. I don't think I'm a very like artsy. Oh, I'm not. Like, did you have this in your hometown? Like the like people who are really good at art in your art class would like get their stuff shown at the mall yes. or something. And my, I was never at the mall. I was in the mall. I'm mm -hmm. in the mall once. It's still there. Fox Valley Mall. You could pay to like paint a tile and then the mall would like put it up and like the people that paid to like have their tiles just oh, played off the mall. <laughs> I know. I made a t-shirt. Like I drew a t-shirt on my tile with a peace sign on it because I was all about oh my God. peace and equality and getting along. <laughs> So when we were in sixth grade, so I went to Catholic school to seventh grade. It, w it went to eighth grade, but I left eighth grade because I was like, bad girl. I can't express myself. But so the sixth graders were allowed to go to the dance at the end of the year. The sixth graders were like ushered into this like weird forced experience. But anyway, my T-shirt said it was just like it said peace, love, happiness, like over and over and over again with like a big peace sign, but like made out of hearts and yeah. And it's like I've always, I'm realizing the I older I get, I've always been this person. I think it's important to like bring peace and love like into yeah, your life. You I think it. I was a hippie like four different times yeah, for, for Halloween. Sure. <laughs> I, um, room growing up, I had like AstroTurf on the floor. What? And then <laughs> I had these like wire flowers that would pop up and then the walls were blue with clouds on them. That's so that it was impressive. like I was outside. <laughs> I think I was weird. Like, no! I think I like look back, I'm like, oh, that's like a weirdo thing to do. Like, my posters were, I had like Eleanor Roosevelt and Einstein on my wall. Like in like, the middle of the garden. Like, Leo. And like, I, like, I don't know what. It's making me think that you are more creative than like you said you were because it's like, if oh my you God, were like, I just like make my room into my own personal garden like outdoor with space. all of my favorite people. I think that that's impressive. <laughs> my room like stayed purple my entire life. I still <laughs> have a poster of the OC hanging on my wall. Oh, my I mean. mom keeps on trying to like, change that room but I'm like you can't take down the OC poster you, you those people like watch me grow up your room. Yeah. yeah and like why you know I'm never like, there of home though it's I nice. guess I don't know if you ever watch like HGTV shows or any of them yes of course <laughs> I do <laughs> <laughs> I'm a citizen of the world I've watched HGTV many a time well I was gonna say when you ever you watch the like international house hunters I'm oh. always like blown away because there is one place it was like this huge mansion like on a mountaintop in Spain and it was like $1,500 a month to rent. No, but... we're insane. No, <laughs> why do we do this in New York City? Because our dreams are here. <laughs> this is where it happens. You This is where I'm happy. Yeah, I was visiting my cousin a couple years ago in North Carolina <laughs> and she's like, how do you, like, how do you do money? And I was like, you don't, I don't have a savings account. I don't like, know I don't, what that means. I don't have any of the adult <laughs> things that you have. You have a house and a husband and children and like retirement. And, oh like, yeah. Things that like 401k oh like all these you know, letters and numbers that make you an adult and I don't have any of that when I said that like oh I think I've always been sort of this person <laughs> yeah. like yeah. since I was like two and a half like singing I'm a little teapot on stage like that is what I wanted to do forever and That's ever and ever dream. so yeah I, my dream is to be a teapot what was your did you have like a Disney movie you watched over and over again? I uh, Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is funny Pretty because great. I don't say that that's my favorite one ever. I know that that's the one I watched over and over, yeah. but I'm like Aladdin. Aladdin's my favorite. Okay, I'm similar. <laughs> so I watched Alice in Wonderland constantly, ah. but Little Mermaid is my favorite. One can be your favorite and the other can just be comforting. Yeah. Well, I'm going to Disney World in a couple of weeks. <gasps> so I went for the first time as an adult. Tell me about it. it. <laughs> it's a completely manufactured experience, but it is so magical. <laughs> By the end of the day with the fireworks and the music I was just like I can make all my dreams come true like I really a dream is in. a wish your heart makes and I make it fully it. and like on the boat ride through like the swamp together I was just like I can't believe I'm going here he was an anti-semite but then I was there and I was like I love it. he's gone he's dead he but they can't possibly amazing. still think this I'm so excited but I think that like that is the aspect of it like I think I know what I'm getting myself into I'm like oh the Mickey Mouse waffles can't wait to have one of those Aww. but 
I like forgot that there are fireworks every night. Every I, single night. How, like, I mean, they have this. so much money, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> they like can afford fun. fireworks. You know what's fun though? Because it's like your first time as an adult, you'll get a big button that says your first time at Disney and I'm more proud. I'm currently reading a book called um, Whatever Arises, Love That. It's all just like whatever's like popping into your life. It's like uh, send love to it. Because even if it's like anger, pain, Ooh. it's all part of your healing journey. Ooh. And so if you love it, then you're not um, you're not bucking against it and like the healing can continue. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, it's a good book. I like it, but I definitely like don't have the cover on the book because I don't want people on the. So like actually, no, I reading. always take the covers off yeah, of books, gotta, whether or not I'm proud off. of them. I read a lot of just like nonfiction. I read a lot of like biographies and like oh, autobiographies sweet. and like memoirs and stuff. I think it's because I like getting to know people, yeah. and I feel like that's my way in to be like, I know what this person does. I know who they are, but I, who are who are they really? Who, are they, who yeah. is Eleanor Roosevelt really? Really? What's really going on there? Oh my gosh. I watched, recently watched um, Gloria Steinem's uh, documentary, or oh, like cool. a documentary about her, and I just like, oh, I fell in love with her all over is again. Is it online? Or is yeah, it? it's on, I think it's on HBO. Oh, cool. Yeah. She, she, at the very end of it, she says like, um, she's, Oh, just as like I've loved being here like I hope I can stay here longer I've loved being here and I just love the way she says that I'm like sorry. about life like oh I've just really loved it's being in this life yeah oh, it's pretty great I love that it's oh. exciting I mean when I have you ever done Reiki uh-uh okay so when I did Reiki and I had this like very like whoa experience and it was just it was I was almost like laughing at the end of it because I was like this is hilarious because we're so much more, we're so much bigger. She just sort of takes you on this meditative journey, um, but it's like very healing. But it definitely it. felt like different spirits in the room. And uh, and then there was this moment where she's like left. She like left because it was like, okay, and now it's the end. And like seriously, like I was shaking. And I remember because I had to pee and I was just like, <laughs> I was like trying to communicate with like God or whatever it was that there. was like trying to like make me. <laughs> Oh, I was just like, I really got to pee. Like, I have to pee. Like, are okay? you almost done doing whatever you're doing to me? Because I have to pee. Uh, it, was, it was really odd. But it was... Because <laughs> I was feeling like I was just like... Oh, it was just like very, like, I don't know. Take it all in. Take yeah, it all in. It was amazing. Oh. I've had it done three times, and every time I've had it done, it makes me aware that we're all just so much bigger. <sighs> yeah. And that what we are is love. Oh, and all that I stuff. love it. So, yeah. Well, on that note, we're going to uh-huh. edit this conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lydia Hensler, for talking to me. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This has been Park Bench of Truth. See you again soon. Park Bench of Truth.